Hi guys, welcome to www.alevelmath.org um, Today we'll be looking at the transformation of the reciprocal graph Okay, please make sure that you have the um, printed down the, the notes for this, uh, this uh, video tutorial because uh, if you don't, you, you will be lost, alright? So just print it out and just listen to what I have to say. Now today we'll be covering on this reciprocal graph and I hope to cover this within 8 minutes of a video, alright? Uh, after having taught uh, A-level tuition for a few years, uh, many years, and also being a school teacher uh, a few years, um, I think that one of the transformation graphs that students struggle the most would be the reciprocal graph, right? Uh, actually, it's not that difficult. Uh, there's not that difficult if you really, really understand the uh, the concepts behind it. So there are basically two main ideas, all right? Now, main idea number one: if you have a reciprocal one of f x, and if f x goes to infinity, what will you get, all right? So the analogy is this. Now, my students know that I love to use this analogy. Let's say if you have an apple. Uh, okay, I suck at drawing, but I'm gonna try. So you have an apple, you're going to share with your friend, so each of you are going to get half, right? So, and you decided, so, oh, yeah, you get half. And you decided to add another 18 more pe pers uh, people, and you your slice uh, obviously gets smaller, right? And you just keep adding more and more people. Eventually, you're going to share with the whole population of Singapore. What will you get? You definitely will get zero, right? You will get nothing at all. Um, that's why... That's why 1 divided by something very big will give you very, very small. And on the other hand, what happens if fx goes to 0? So this analogy goes with 1 divided by 0 0.1. So 1 divided by 0 0.1 will give us, you take 1, you you uh, split it up in a point 0.1 size, you get 10, 10 slices. And you take 1, you divide by 0 0.01, you get 100. And... 0.001 you get a thousand right so what happens when the number gets smaller and smaller and zero is obviously smaller than all of this number here you will essentially get a infinity all right now so because of these two main ideas you definitely have interesting uh interesting take take away so th these are the main four things you need to take note of when you when you are sketching the reciprocal graph Number one, the vertical asymptotes. Because vertical asymptotes is towards tends to infinity, that's why it becomes x intercept. And when it's x intercept, where you have a zero here, that's why it becomes a vertical asymptote. It tends to infinity. And then now let's look at the after looking at the vertical asymptote, let's look at the horizontal asymptote. Now for horizontal asymptotes where y equals to k, I'm I'm not talking about the horizontal asymptote, not the x-axis, uh, please. Not the x-axis. Right? K goes to Horizontal asymptote will still remain as horizontal asymptote. It become y equals to one over k. And when if the curve approaches horizontal asymptote from above, from below, right? After you reciprocal it, you'll be approached from below. And if it's above, you'll approach. Uh, if it's approaching from above, you'll approach from below after reciprocaling it. I will show you how it's done later. Now three is is uh, maximum point. It becomes minimum point, minimum point becomes maximum point. Now, take note, uh, these are all like very, you know, when you reciprocal it means you're, you're just uh, taking the opposite. And please take note that when you inverse, I mean you reciprocal your graph, it will always remain, if let's say it's a positive region, it will remain a positive, positive region. It won't change sign, okay? If, if ever you do and you realize that your graph is on a different region, means something is wrong with your graph. Take note of that. Now, 4. When the curve approaches 0, it will tend to infinity. When curve approaches infinity, tends to infinity, it will tend to 0. Okay? Now, let's look at question 1 without further ado. So, let's look at the how, how do we reciprocal this graph, right? To find the reciprocal of this graph. Now, number 1. Now I'm going to use a red pen so that you can see the difference. The vertical asymptotes. Okay, the vertical asymptotes will be the x-intercept. So the vertical asymptotes, you have one over here. It will be the graph will intercept here, right? And then you have um, the x-intercept becomes the vertical asymptotes. X-intercept would be here. X-intercept. This is one. So you have a vertical asymptote over here, right? And this over here as well. 
So you have two vertical asymptotes. Is that alright? Now, after looking at the vertical asymptote, let's look at the horizontal asymptotes. So we will draw a horizontal asymptote on this side. Okay, y equals to one third. I'm not drawing to scale. Okay, I reciprocal because I don't want to. I need more space over here. So, uh, okay. Now once you are you finish doing all the vertical and all the asymptotes that you have there now you can start sketching right so you look at this graph here now this is in a positive region so never ever sketch in a negative region it's just a positive so here as it approaches from the top from above of the horizontal asymptote it will approach from the the bottom this will go to zero like your your x intercept right this will come to zero right so negative uh this is positive zero so it's basically positive infinity so what you get is here to here like something like that okay you get this graph over here okay and then your this here negative zero uh zero it will be negative infinity here negative infinity because it approaches zero right so it'll be touching the uh nearing the asymptotes this minimum point will become a maximum point that if you inverse negative one you still get a negative one so it will still remain as the same point like that okay is that right then now this intercept here three it will become one third over here definitely so this this nearing zero infinity touch here and this is infinity it will tends to zero so you get here okay make sure that you don't touch the asymptotes ah. so there's no touching of the asymptotes please make sure that this so you the graph that you're looking at is limiting okay i need some time there you go this is the final answer okay for question one okay <coughs> please proceed to question two and three uh the video is already uh will be done soon so for question two and three please just check check out the solution for question two and three um uh, i hope you enjoy this uh, eight minutes video lecture on how to reciprocal a graph if you have any questions or comments please do leave a, your comments below the uh below the comment section in the on the our H, h2a levels mathematics uh, youtube channel uh please give me a thumbs up or if you have any feedback just write it down all right uh Thank you and uh, all the best in your exams.